Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and today I've got a really cute and quick little gift card holder for you. So you've got these three pieces here. You're gonna need some ribbon as well. And I have measured out roughly, got 24, 24 and 11, so about 35 inches. Might be a little overkill, but better to have more than less. Uh, what we're gonna do, this is the inside of the card. We've got a little flap here, and we're gonna close this up for a second. We're gonna put the outside panel on here, and you're just gonna line that up with that little notch there, just to make sure that you're not obstructing it. Okay, so we're gonna get that glued down. I'm gonna glue the inside together. This is graphic 45 paper, by the way. Kind of strayed from the original paper, but I thought this was a little more festive. Just get your glue on there, not too thick. We don't want it showing through. And just put that down flat. Get that nice and lined up. Make sure you've got a nice even border going all the way around. You can kind of pick it up and hold it in your hand and just nudge it with your thumb until you've got it perfectly lined up. And just get that glue to penetrate all those little fibers there. That's perfect. That's already looking really festive. Okay, and the next step is to put, to the, put the inside together. So um, this piece starts like this. You wanna go ahead and fold at this score mark here, at this score mark here, and there are two little score marks here. And what I would do is keep that flat on your surface and fold it like that so that you don't risk um, messing up the little score marks there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sandwich this in the middle here, okay? So my suggestion would be, and it doesn't matter which side you put it in, um, we're gonna go ahead and get one side down first. You don't need to put glue here or here, just on this main section here. Okay, so go ahead and get your glue on this piece here. Work it throughout all these little, little nooks and crannies. Add a few dots here and there if you need to. Don't put too much. Don't want it squirting out. A little goes a long way, as I always say. Okay just like that. And we're gonna take this score mark here and we're gonna match it up. We're gonna butt it up against this score mark here in the center as, as closely and as best as we possibly can. Make sure that you have a nice even border on both sides. Okay, and then just push down. Okay, and then just push that down and hold it in place. You get a little bit of glue that seeps out, that's okay. Try to get a nice even border on both sides there. And then the idea is that when you close this up, it should close up like that, okay? This is gonna be a little thick down here and that's, that's okay, that's by design, totally normal. And then you can go ahead and flip this piece over and get your glue on this piece here. Just work the perimeter, get a little bit on the inside, a few dots here and there. Okay. And then what I would suggest doing is just closing this piece up to figure out where it goes. And then you can open it back up and push down. Okay. Just like that. All right, so your gift card is gonna slide in right there and then when you open and close your card, it'll kind of pop out. Okay, you've got enough room here for some stamping or some journaling. And then last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to tie this ribbon on. Um, this was kind of fun to figure out and I'll admit, after I got this to work on, I called Ron and I guess Ron and Diana went through the process to figure out the most efficient way of getting this ribbon on here because it is kind of, uh, it's a little bit of a pain, but not until they figured out the best way to do it. So take your ribbon 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed it through this hole here like this. Okay, so just like that. And then you're gonna take your ribbon and then just bring it all the way around on the back and feed it through all three slots so that it comes out the other side here. Okay, let's just get it through. Now this is a satin ribbon, so it's a little more difficult to work with, but I got it here. So pull that through. Okay, so now we've got, we've got the ribbon on there nicely and probably pull it through so that your ribbon is equal length at the end there. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is just tie a bow, or tie a knot, I should say. Okay, and the knot's gonna hold that thing closed like that, and then just make a bow. Just tie a cute little bow. Well, that's a big one, obviously. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna make it nice and tight, and then just pull the tails, pull the tails in until I have a bow at the size that I feel is perfect. Okay, get that nice and tight. Let me pull it in a little more. I'll tighten that up. Okay, there's my pretty bow. Um, you know, I think that one's maybe a little bit longer. There we go. All right, so your card is pretty much all together. And then you can go ahead and take and trim your ribbon. It probably would go about halfway down the box here. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.